Let's take a look at unsupervised learning. Uh, so what can we do here? We have clustering. And again, we've covered these prior, but I just really want to make sure that you know what they are. So clustering is a process of grouping unlabeled data based on similarities and differences, right? So we used an example previously, um, you know, is this a Mac or is it a Windows? Here it's about age and something else. And so it's saying, you know, is, are these people, do these people have cholesterol? Are they high risk or low risk? Um, for clustering algorithms, we have k-means, uh, db scan, k-modes. Then we have association. So association is the process of finding relationship between variables through association. Um, so the idea is that if somebody buys breads, then suggests butter because based on previous combinations, we know what people want. Um, so there are different algorithms for that. I cannot say those words, so I'm not even gonna attempt it, but you can see them here on the right-hand side. We have dimensionality reduction. This is where we're reducing the amount of data. We're retaining the data integrity, often used as a pre-processing stage. And we have lots of algorithms for this, principal component analysis, linear discriminant analysis, generalized discriminant analysis, singular value de decomposition, uh, laden uh, directal, I can't say that word. <laughs> there's just too many words that are too hard to say, but there's a lot, there's a lot for dimension, dimensionality reduction. Um, yeah, and so hopefully you can remember those things, classification, regression, clustering, association, dimensionality reduction, okay?